O oh, bless our God and never cease. You saints fulfill God's praise. Who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubtful ways. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, July the 23rd. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 45, 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 1 to 22. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. Alleluia, Psalm 45. Alleluia, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. You, O king, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride triumphantly for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and peoples fall beneath you. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever, and your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness, and you hate iniquity. And therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes, and out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies, and on your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your master. Worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to the king in many colored robes, and her virgin companions follow her. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. In place of your ancestors shall be your children. You will make them rulers in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered by all generations. Therefore, the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 25, beginning at verse 1. Now Samuel died, and all Israel assembled and mourned for him. They buried him at his home in Ramah. And then David got up and went down to the wilderness of Paran. There was a man in Maon whose property was in Carmel. The man was very rich and he had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats. He was shearing his sheep in Carmel. Now the name of the man was Nabal and the name of his wife, Abigail. The woman was clever and beautiful, but the man was surly and mean. He was a Calebite. David heard in the wilderness that Nabal was shearing his sheep. So David sent ten young men, and uh, ten young men, and David said to the young men, Go up to Carmel to Nabal, greet him in my name. Thus you shall salute him. Peace be to you, and peace be to your house. 
and peace be to all that you have. I hear that you have shearers. Now your shepherds have been with us, and we did them no harm, and they missed nothing. All the time they were in Carmel. Ask your young men, and they will tell you. Therefore, let my young men find favor in your sight, for we have come on a feast day. Please give whatever you have at hand to your servants and to your son, David. When David's young men came, they said all of this to Nabal in the name of David, and then they waited. But Nabal answered David's servants, Who is David? Who is the son of Jesse? There are many servants today who are breaking away from their masters. Shall I take my bread and water and the meat that I have butchered from my shearers and give it to men who come from I do not know where? So David's young men turned away and came back and told him all this. And David said to his men, Every man strap on his sword. And every one of them strapped on his sword. And David also strapped on his sword. And about 400 men went up after David, while 200 remained with the baggage. But one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute our master, and he shouted insults out of them. Yet the men were very good to us, and we suffered no harm, and we never missed anything when we were in the fields, as long as we were with them. They were a wall to us both by night and day, all the while we were with them keeping the sheep. Now therefore know this, and consider what you should do, for evil has been decided against our master, and against all his house. He is so ill-natured that no one can speak to him. Then Abigail hurried and took two hundred loaves, two skins of wine, five sheep ready-dressed, five measures of parched grain, one hundred clusters of raisins and two hundred cakes of figs. And she loaded them on donkeys and said to her young men, Go on ahead of me, I am coming after you. But she did not tell her husband, Nabal. And as she rode on the donkey and came down under cover of the mountain, David and his men came down toward her, and she met them. Now David had said, Surely it was in vain that I protected all that this fellow, fellow has in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that belonged to him. But he has returned me evil for good. God does do so to David, and more also, if by morning I have so much as one male of all, if I leave so much as one male of all who belong to him. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, tender God, have mercy. Show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, O oh God, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Most holy Jesus, our brother and savior, we acknowledge you as our sovereign, and to you our praise is due. Accept these our humble prayers, which we offer in thanksgiving for your majesty and glory. Amen.
We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.